Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna do an overview of the frame that I came up with for this H510 ASRock riserless mining motherboard. So I did a video on this motherboard, just doing an overview. I'll link it up in the card. And since then, a lot of you have picked this board up. I think it's a great motherboard. It's pretty affordable considering the state of everything right now. But the big question has been, how do I set this up? And I've thought a lot about this board and it's just really confusing about who it's made for and what it's designed to do. And I'll talk about that here. So a couple things, typically a riserless motherboard like this will go in a server case and everything will be powered by PCIe off of like some big server power supplies or ASIC power supplies or something like that. This board is very much designed for ATX power supplies. You can see here, it's got one, two, and a third, you can't see, it's down there, you can't see it uh, with the GPUs there, three spots for ATX power supplies. The other thing that's confusing about this board is all of the PCIe slots are powered by Molex. Well, not all of them, but four of them are. They all take Molex power. Whereas in like a traditional riserless mining motherboard that would go in a server case, those would all be powered by PCIe. So I still don't know who this board is necessarily designed for, but I'll show you what I come up, came up with uh, to make it work in my setup here. So you can see the frame I'm using is a eight card Veta style frame or Kingwin or Asterin frame, they go by different names. And I've had to customize it quite a bit for this motherboard because you can't just put this board on it. The standoff holes don't line up. It's not made for this kind of motherboard. So what I did is first got some sheet metal, figuring I'd give myself a better base to have this board sit on. And I had to use some of the extra screws I had from these frames to get that drilled into the actual frame itself. And I just use a tap uh, to get new locations to put in screws on there. And then from there, I knew I couldn't just rest this motherboard flat on metal, that would not be good. So what I did is I got these little riser, it's 3D printed. These are courtesy of Chump Change over at Misfit Mining. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And this allows me to essentially create standoffs to raise the motherboard off of this metal sheet and give me some stability. These are really nice, give me a lot of stability for these heavy GPUs to rest on. And then for extra support, I tapped and drilled some new holes in the bar here and screwed each GPU directly into that. So the GPUs are being supported by this bar that's given a, taken a little bit of the weight off of it. Uh, and then also by just the good footprint that these standoffs create underneath the motherboard. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I have five GPUs on here now, it can fit six. But as you imagine, one of the problems that you run into with cards this close together, and these are 33080s, this one's had thermal pads replaced, these who have not, is that airflow, right? Especially with these GDR6X cards, they need a lot of airflow to keep those memory temperatures cool. So let me go around back here and I'll show you what I tried that absolutely did not work. Is I tried adding some fans here on the back. These fans are Arctic fans courtesy of AAA Wave. And you can see I had to do some interesting stuff with the fan bracket here because of how long this Gigabyte 3080 is. And so I got the fans here and the thought was that these fans will help push air through the cards, but they're just so low CFM, they do pretty much nothing. So when I have this rig up in mining, I have a box fan just sit here and blow through the cards. And I probably just need to get some higher power fans here, some Delta fans or something that you just really push the air through here. Again, exactly what a server case would provide you, but this board, I just, it's not designed for that. I don't think it is, it's really confusing. Let me show you how I have it set up and we'll take a look at it mining for a second. So 
I have two ATX power supplies running on this because again, that's just what you have to do to use Molex. And I'm using two of the strands, uh, two of the connectors on a strand of Molex here, I'm not using three because again, I don't know how much that's actually pulling from there. It's really interesting that ASRock decided to use a Molex connector for this board. Uh, and there's no information about that at all in the manual. I think I'm gonna send them an email just to find out because I'm so curious around that. But what I have it set up on is there's a master motherboard hookup for ATX power supply. And then this one, which I'm not using right now, and then the other one you can't see, it's under the card. Those will just trigger on the additional ATX power supplies once you flip one. So I'm gonna flip this one on and you can see power, right? All the cards now powered and the fan is going on this other one on the thousand watt there. And that's it. So, I mean, that's really nice. You can have up to three ATX power supplies on here. And just the way it's built, you can flip one on and all the rest will turn on. And that's what I've come up with for this board. I've seen a lot of creative solutions out there from everybody in the community, just doing different things to make this motherboard work for them. I still am a huge fan of it, but it's just really hard to figure out what it's designed to do where it's designed to go. It's not a server case mining motherboard, even though it is. It's not made for open air frames like this because you got to customize it. And that's it, man. That, that, that's what I've come up with. If you guys have this motherboard, let me know down in the comments section below. And even better yet, join my Discord and post some pictures of maybe what you've come up with. I'm sure there's people that just have this thing probably sitting on the box that it came with. But I've seen some wood frames. I've seen some vertical frames made. Uh, it's just really, really cool to see what you guys come up with. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join that Discord if you want to chat. Link is down in the description. I'll have uh, parts and stuff that I use linked down in the description as well. And as always, guys, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in the next video.